back, we've got the power cord. Like I said, it is detachable. If you look at the power cord, there's one female opening with a, a little notch on it. If you look down here, there's one male prong with a notch on it. You line those two up, you twist, then you tighten it up with the ring, plug the other end in. You may need an adapter. Some parks only have a, a 20 amp household adapter. This is a true 30 amp RV cord. So you may need an adapter to go from this to their plug. The other thing to look at while you're outside before you go in, if you can get down here and see there's a three inch valve and a two inch or an inch and a half valve. The three inch valve in this case is open. So we're gonna close it. The three inch is the black water, that's your, that's your sewer or your toilet. And the inch and a half valve, which is this one, that's your gray water tank. So that means that's your bathroom sink, kitchen sink, shower, that kind of thing. But all you want to do is make sure that both of those are closed before you go inside. And when you get inside, the first thing you're going to want to do is grab a little toilet chemical, probably about eight ounces would be plenty, pour that down the toilet and run the toilet for about 30 seconds. What that's going to do is put about a gallon of water in that toilet. Now you're going to use the toilet on top of that chemical all weekend and that, that chemical will dissolve the tissue and the solid waste. Uh, one more thing while we're out here, this is the uh, exhaust port for the furnace. That'll get extremely hot, so don't put anything by it. This is the water heater. Right before you go in, grab this top little pressure relief valve and pull it. If no water comes out, this tank's empty, so it's not safe to light. Go inside, either turn the, if you've hooked up the hose to the city water, that'll fill automatically. If you have to use your water pump from your water tank, I'll show you where that switch is on the inside. But get that turned on, because until this is full, until water comes out of this pressure valve, this is not safe to turn on. Once you turn that on, it's got a styrofoam jacket around it. If that's not full of water, that jacket will melt down in about four or five seconds. After about ten or two or three minutes, it could catch fire. So that you have to make sure a little water comes out of that. 